Hello, I'm Dan from Ace of Rentals and Sales, and today we're going to be taking a look at this really small one. It's a 2017 Liberty Outdoors Little Guy 6 foot. Um, I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about the inside and the outside of this trailer so you'll be all set and prepared when you decide to run from us. We're going to start off in this front compartment right here. There are a few important things. So along with the wheel for the front leg and the hitch ball, we also have our 20 pound propane tank. This is pretty much going to be only for your stove in the back kitchen. We also have our house battery here, which is going to power very minor things like the lights, um, also your cooler in the back when you're not plugged in. Over here we have a few inlets. We have our TV cable inlet right here. So we'll give you the TV cable. You just want to plug this in at your campsite or if you don't have cable hookup at your campsite, you can also use the antenna inside to find channels. Below that here we have our power cord connector. Once you're plugged into 30 amp connection, all the major electrical appliances will work. That'll be your AC, your TV, your outlets, and it'll also power the cooler in the back. Next to that here we have our water system. So you're going to use the same hose for both of these, but you have your fresh water connection and your city water connection. We'll start off with the city water right here. So we'll give you the hose for this, it's just a standard garden hose. Once you're hooked up here at your campsite, you'll get direct water from the campsite into your pipes. As opposed to the fresh water inlet right here, which is to fill up a very small fresh water tank. In the back here, we have our outside kitchen. I'm just going to train these handles counterclockwise and just open this up. Again, the fresh water tank is very small for this, so if you want to use continuous water, you pretty much have to be plugged into city water at your campsite. Next to the sink here, we have our stove. We have two burners here. They're both going to run on the propane tank in the front. All you want to do is just set it to the fire option here, and you can hear the propane come out. Then you just want to take the lighter, and there you go. Over here, we'll give you all the cords and hoses you'll need. So this black cord here is going to be your 30 amp power connection. Once you're plugged in, as I said, all the major electrical appliances will work. Below that here, we have our white hose. This is our garden hose for the city and fresh water. So you're just going to plug this into your fresh water to fill up the tank, or your city water to take direct connection from the campsite. Next up, we have a 30 to 15 amp adapter. You can plug onto the end of your power cord if you don't have 30 amp service. And we also have our TV cable right here. Next up here, we have our cooler. You just want to push down on these blue handles to pull it out like this. Now the cooler is going to run on the house battery in the front. The house battery is going to be charged when you're plugged into shore power, that's your 30 amp power cord, or when the engine is running and you're plugged into your vehicle. That way, the cooler will be running either when you're plugged into shore power or you're plugged into your vehicle. If you're not plugged into either of those, it's going to run on the house battery for a very small, short amount of time. There'll be only a few hours before it goes dry. So just to simplify, um, if you want this cooler to work, either be plugged into shore power or be plugged into your vehicle when the engine is running. Otherwise, if you're not doing either of those, the cooler will die really quickly. In the back of this trailer here, we have two leveling jacks. You just want to take the crank that we'll give you in the front, and you just want to manually crank it up and down. It's important to keep this trailer level because the cooler might not work properly if it's unlevel. So that concludes the outside of this trailer. We're just going to head inside here. On both sides, underneath the bed, we have some storage. It's going to look the same on the other side as well. So entering the trailer here, we have a few things. You have a cup holder on this side and on the other side. We have, for safety purposes, fire extinguisher right here, and a smoke detector right over here. We have a porch light on either side, we have ceiling lights, and we have some storage over here as well. In this envelope here, I've placed the extra fuse for the fuse box, which is going to be right over here. We have the registration, and we also have the instruction manual. In the front here, as you see, we have charging center, so USB, circuit lighter, uh, 15 amp outlets here. We have some storage up top. We have our TV, which is going to run on either the antenna or the cable. Just make sure you're plugged in for this to work. And below the TV here, we have our AC unit. Again, just make sure you're plugged into 30 amp connection for this to work. On this side here, we have more cabinet space. Below that here, we have a radio. You can connect your phone Bluetooth as well. And we just have the AC fan and the GFI. For the windows here, we have two different lines. So 
from here and one from the bottom as well. To open up the window, we have four different latches. You just want to flip these up like this, flip these out like this, and you can just open up your window. On the ceiling here, we have our exhaust fan. You can just turn this on, and you can also open up and close the skylight. And that is going to do it for our 2017 Liberty Outdoors, little guy six foot. I've been Dan from Ace Rentals and Sales, and have a great trip.